Let us unbox, install, and configure an IKE PBS machine. So I have an IKE PBS. This is 424P series, and this is a 24 channel IKE PBS machine. And I think the modern number is also checked somewhere here. Okay, this is it. This is 424P. You can see it is checked here, which stands for 24 port PBS system. So let's bring this out of the box and see what we have inside. So this is what this particular model of IKE PBS looks like and it comes with this power cable and this is your regular power adapter the one you use for your printers and desktop computer and it comes with a two pin end although i would have preferred the three pin but unfortunately we have a two pin inside so it is fair enough and then the other end is this other three pin inlet that goes into a printer your computer desktop computers just a regular um, power um, supply that you know of so uh, so that is it for the power supply that I came with set this aside and inside the box you also have a manual in this manual you have the configuration procedures for this PBS machine and we're going to make use of this to configure this PBS machine I'm going to show you how to use this manual to configure this PBS machine for first use of course, if you're using this PABS for the first time, if you do not unlock it for first use, you might find it hard to be able to use it for the service which you bought it for. So I'm going to show you how to unlock it for first use, all of the codes and the password that you're going to use to unlock this PABS machine are inside the manual. And I'm going to come back to it later, so stay tuned to the end of this video so that i'll show you how to make use of this manual to configure your uh, pbs so inside here you have a lot of password and codes that you can use to do a lot of things so let's set this aside somewhere so i'm going to remove the transparent plastic that is housing this pbs machine so that we see what the port looks like and the other part of this PBS. And then is a 424 with 24 channel. So you have 24 channel ports here. Although if you count it they are 28 that is because the first four is actually the co line which we won't be using for this video but rather we'll just make use of the other regular intercom port all right so let's power this device on and see how to operate this machine so i'm going to plug the power cable into the power jack at the side at the front of the PBS machine just beside the port so plug it in and then I'll plug the other end in the power socket all right so at the side you have the switch so just turn the switch on so if you flip the switch on it's going to show red light and it's going to beep for a couple of times and then the light is going to remain solid all throughout the time that the power supply the PABS will be on the light is going to remain solid except when you have a call coming in that is when you notice that the light will start blinking otherwise it stays it remains solid all through the time so let's get our phones ready for this configuration so I have two phones. I'm going to be using two phones for this configuration. One is to unlock the phone while I was use the phone to call the other phone just to confirm that the unlock process worked.
so we we'll remove the phone from the pack and then i'm going to collect connect the cable to the handle of the phone so the spiral one will go into the handle of the phone so i'm going to put in the spiral cable first into the handle of the phone and then the other end is going to go into the side of the phone so if you are installing phones for the first time this is how to plug in your cable and then the, the other cable the straight cable will go into the phone and then into the PABS machine now it has to go into the first port this is what the cable looks like it is RJ11 now like I said earlier I'm going to show you something on this port and a lot of people find this confusing so this is RJ11 port and the port that this will go into is not this first one this first one is a CO line so the first four ports are the CO port so do not plug it in if you plug it into this port that I'm plugging it into it now you won't be able to unlock the PABS machine and that will be able to call out from this port or any of these four ports so one two three four ports you can't make use of it to unlock rather go to the next zero one after the first four ports so the next port which is the one after the first four ports is the one you're going to plug it in so we have zero one zero two zero three zero four which are the CO line and the next zero one to 24 is the one that works with your extension and your intercoms so i'm going to plug it into the 01 port and the other port is going to go into the telephone box all right so you can see that this is on now then i'm going to get um unlock this phone so let's get the manual and see where to unlock this so if you go to the let's flip to the second page where we are going to unlock where we have the password to unlock the PABS machine for the page that has unlock password written on it that is the page that you are going to work with so on your own manual it might not be page 2 but here you can see unlock system password so this is where the password to unlock this PBS machine is and I'm going to show you how to impute this password on your phone box so that you can unlock this machine for forced use 24 so your phone you raise the handle and you punch in star star zero one one two three four and ash you're going to hear a tune saying that your system has been unlocked so let me bring this closer and repeat the process again so that you see what I mean. I'm going to uh, put this on speaker so that you hear the tone it gives. So you're going to punch in star star zero one one two three four and ash and you hear the tone. So that shows that your system has been successfully unlocked. If you don't hear that tone, your system has not been unlocked so you have to repeat the process again star star zero one one two three four and ash and system has been unlocked so that is the tone once you hear that tone your system has been unlocked you can now plug in your phones and begin to use the phone so i'm going to open the second phone and then plug it into any port and try to call so that you see that this particular machine has been successfully unlocked
so this is going to go into any of the ports so let's say i want to fix it into port 10 so i'm going to plug in the phone into port 10 and then we are going to dial the phone so you see that the phone is on this is on also so let's dial um port 10 will be 810 So you notice that this is beginning to ring you can see that the number showing on the screen that is calling the phone is 081 which is the one that we are calling from so, so let's say i want to remove this and put it into any other port let's say i want to put it into port 4 04 is going to be 804 so on this other phone i'm going to die 804 can see that this is beginning to ring here all right so and let's say I want to dial from this phone to the other phone I'm going to dial 801 from this phone and you can see that this is beginning to ring on the first phone also so the PBS machine has been successfully installed and unlocked so you can go ahead and run your connections on the wall make use of um, face plates, ROG 11 face plates, and do your normal connection. They should be able to work. Thank you for watching. Remember to share. I'll see you in the next one.